Shalom, holy initiates and holy adepts. Uh, just want to begin by saying that I did. I do. Know, I am aware that I did say I was going to go on a sabbatical, and for all intents and purposes, I'm still on, on my sabbatical from doing videos here on this channel. However, I did have some free time, uh, you know, now and recently, and more than anything, I just couldn't help myself. And I, I, I really, really want to do this video. This is meant to be a very short video, not a long video or anything. It's just a, I'm hoping that this will come out to be a very short video. But uh, again, I just had some free time and I just couldn't help myself. So uh, I wanted to really uh, do this video, but don't expect any other, don't expect any future videos going forward, probably for another, you know, couple of months or so. But uh, essentially uh, this video uh, is a video where we're going to, where I'm going to teach on something that I haven't really covered or taught about in regards to all of the videos that I have on Shabbatainism, and this is the dark side or the flip side of Shabbatainism, which is Luciferianism in its highest, most purest form. And because we have to understand that, you know, at the highest levels, when we're speaking on on the supernatural and on the divine, right? We understand that quintessentially it's it's binary. And so just as we have, you know, holy Zadikim of the highest order who operate at the highest level, likewise, we have their mirror image, which are the most powerful Luciferians. And as I've already have taught and stated uh, and even proven is that this domain is exclusive only to the Shabbatains and Shabbatainism. Okay. Meaning that if we want to get to know and we want to, and we want to get to know and meet these, who these men are, who these individuals are, they are all within the inner circle of Shabbat, of, of what we would call Shabbatainism. In other words, the most powerful and holiest of saints are all Shabbatians, and the most powerful, most initiated of Luciferians are also all Shabbatians. They're just working within two different domains. But much of the knowledge and wisdom that they both possess is, much, is, is for the most part the same. The only difference is that the Luciferian Shabbatians are working on the dark side for Samael and the Holy Shabbatians, you know, are working for Hashem. Okay. Now in this video, I'm going to start to talk about and reveal a little bit uh, about the, the Luciferian Shabbatians. These are the, these are the most powerful, most initiated Luciferians, again, predominantly Jewish, mostly from the tribe of Dan of Israel, but again, predominantly Jewish. Um, and these are the these are the power brokers. These are you know the very few select men uh, that run the world. And I want to spend a few minutes here just discoursing a bit, uh, you know, on on the dynamics of uh, the Luciferian order, the true inner Luciferian order, the highest Luciferian order, uh, and a bit about how it operates. So, right, there are many Luciferian orders as I hope many of you listening understand. And we will designate the highest Luciferian order, which is the inner order of Lucifer as level one, and all of the other levels, level two, level three, as you go down. Now, at level one, all of these Luciferians, they have, you know, a complete comprehensive possession of all the true knowledge and wisdom. And as you go down in levels, the more inferior that knowledge and wisdom becomes. And I say this because, you know, there, we have many stupid, many retarded, Goyim. Again, I'm being I'm being very nice and calling them stupid and retarded because I would rather opt in to choose much more vulgar language. But again, I'm trying to keep this video PG-13. But we have many stupid, retarded Goyim who, and especially in this last generation, we have a, a, a large number of really stupid and retarded Goyim that have opted to go down the left-hand path. Many of them just don't know any better. Some of them are really, really set on going down the left-hand path. And when you go down the left-hand path, right, you're going to you're going to, you're going to come across. Um, you know, many Grimars, black magic Grimars, and many Luciferian treatises. And the the problem is that many of these, many of these uh, highly popular 
very famous Grimoires uh, and Luciferian treatises that are circulating out in the open, um, you know, are what we would say booby trapped, meaning that they don't contain the full, true, comprehensive knowledge and wisdom that many of them uh, purport to contain. Okay. Take, for example, Aleister Crowley, who was the most powerful magician of the past century. He was notoriously known um, by, those at the, by those at the highest level to have booby-trapped many of his books. Right? Exa as an example, let's say I'm a Luciferian grandmaster. I belong to the inner circle of Lucifer. What we would do in closed sessions is we would come up, we would come up with the grammar, okay? And we would then, what we would then do is, you know, is that we would con we would put in a lot of actual real Luciferian knowledge and wisdom in it, a lot of powerful spells, etc. In it, and then what we would do is we would we would set booby traps. What we would do is we would alter a ritual or a spell in such a way that it would cause damage and affliction uh, to the possessor or user of the book. And we would do this purposefully. Why? Because the Luciferian. The Luciferian mantra, the Luciferian mindset is to destroy. Okay? And this is what the this is what the Luciferian grandmasters are all about, is 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 in a lot of cases they, they their job is to destroy and to cause pain, suffering, and affliction. And for the most part, they don't really care who they cause it to. And so at that at those highest levels, these Luciferians Many of the Luciferians below them in the lower orders, they're, to them, they're nothing but sheep to be sheared. When you belong to level one, the highest order of Luciferianism, when you are within the inner order of Lucifer, all of the Luciferians below you are sheep to be sheared. And believe me, they are sheared. And so the books, many of these books come down straight from, from, from level one, and they are booby-trapped. And there are many stupid, retarded Luciferians that end up destroying their lives or become afflicted uh, or, or just many horrible things happen to them because they work with these very powerful Luciferian books, you know, casting spells and doing black magic, and they'll hit upon a booby trap and then boom, everything blows up in their face. This happens a lot. And a lot of these really stupid, retarded Goyim, they don't know any better, and this is what happens. This is why they're really stupid and retarded. And so this is what they don't understand. This is what a lot of these really stupid and retarded Goyim, we're talking maybe 90% of Luciferianism and Satanism and Wicca, etc. Many of them are all stupid and retarded, have no idea what they're doing and what they're working with and what's really truly going on. And so this is the, the truth of the matter. Okay? Now... The reason I'm saying all of this is because in this video I'm going to discuss uh, a very powerful uh, Luciferian treatise um, and go a little bit into it and because there's something very important in this Luciferian treatise that uh, I want to reveal uh, and teach upon very briefly. Now, the book that I'm going to, to discuss here is uh, called Sifra Sitra Akhra, which is Aramaic for the book of the other side. The Sitra Akhra is the ancient Aramaic term used for the Luciferian domain. Um, and this book was written by a highly initiated Luciferian who does not belong to level one, but belongs say, maybe to level two or level three. Um, and the Luciferian who wrote this book or the Luciferian order behind this book is on the payroll of level one. Okay. Uh, the reason I know this is because there is some very powerful esoteric knowledge and wisdom in this book that would only be known to those that belong to level one of the Luciferian order, uh, as we'll see here shortly. Now, before I get into the book itself, um, I want I want to briefly say that you know, as I've stated in other videos, I'm from the attribute of Gebura, and I'm very rough around the edges as a result. And so I say, if you're a, if you're a sensitive individual who's come to this channel, please leave, because this channel will probably seriously offend you. 
okay? I'm very rough and I'm very tough. I belong to the most ancient, most austere, holy of academies, okay? Where we teach merit is by way of exertion. The allegory I give is you want to become a bodybuilder. You want to become one of the best bodybuilders. You want to go to one of the most elite gyms, right? They don't accept weak individuals. A weak individual who goes into the gym and tries to lift, you know, a, a heavy weight and it has no endurance and, 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 and weakens out, you know, after a few minutes, they don't want individuals like that. They want serious, hardcore, strong individuals that have high levels of endurance. This is what the most ancient Supernal Holy Academy operates. I only desire whole, true holy initiates and adepts to come to this channel who are strong of spirit, strong intellectually and strong spiritually, okay? I'm not looking, I don't want intellectually and spiritually weak people to come here who are going to be easily offended, okay? And who are very sensitive. This channel is not for you. We're not meant to be a holy initiate and adept. I say this because more often than not, I have, I just, there's a respect and honor that I have for Luciferians in the sense of the Luciferians at the highest levels have very, very high SQs and very, very high IQs, okay? Just like me. We don't find this generally speaking among Christians, Jews, and Muslims. There's this very prevalent, atrocious, staggering ignorance that just pervades much of the Abrahamic religions. Okay, the Luciferians, it's a, it's a whole nother story. They're very, very intelligent, okay? Your average Luciferian has a much higher IQ and SQ than your average Christian or even Jew for the most part, okay? And I'm gonna demonstrate that in this book because this book that, that I'm going to go into here was written by an extraordinarily highly initiated Luciferian whose master is somebody who belongs to level one of the Luciferian order, as we'll see here shortly, okay? So with that established, we can now, uh, proceed uh, to the book. So as I say, the book is uh, called Sifra Sitra Akhra. And I'm going to start with at the very beginning. This is page 11. This is just the opening chapter of the book. Um, you can see at the top, it says the book of Sitra Akhra, uh, a grammar of the dragons of the Sitra Akhra. So I'm going to read to you here, just page the top paragraph of page 11 here which states the following grammar is the result of an almost two decades long work with the different points of manifestation belonging to the forces that within this book now after all the years of arduous cultivation have become represented recalled and uh liminally embodied even if the fundament of some of the outer forms employed within this work can be traced to older sources such as the writings of some of the adepts of the hermetic order of the golden dawn to whom we owe much when it comes to for example the most known names employed to describe the 10 primary kripot and the 12 princes of the zodiac the actual essence channeled through those names will differ radically from what the members of the aforementioned hermetic order would associate with that which they consider to be kafathic now here in the opening paragraph he's giving due respect and credit to one of the most powerful and highest secret societies, which is the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. Now, I yet to do a video on the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn and the highest grandmaster and puppet master of the entire uh, occult, of all occult orders and secret societies, which was none other than the Jewish Sabbatim. Eventually, when I come back, I will be doing a video uh, on this subject. But all I will say for now is that the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn was founded um, by the most initiated uh, Jewish grandmaster and Shabbatean working very closely with Hamashiach Yaakov Frank. And uh, this puppet master, this grandmaster, uh, was the grandmaster of all secret societies. Again, I don't want to get too deep into the subject because it's we will co I will cover this in our future video. But in other words, this the Luciferian here speaking is, is highly initiated enough to know and understand that the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn is a legitimate secret society and that they had legitimate, very esoteric uh, teachings, both of the Luciferian and Holy Mysteries, okay? And so that's the very first critical point to understand, is that they give due credit and respect where required. Now, I need you to listen very carefully to what I'm going to read because this is the next paragraph on the same page in page 11. It goes on to state, the source we owe most to and with whom our own insight concerning the Clifoth is the closest and most in harmony with is Rab Nathan of Gaza, being the most elevated prophet of Shabbat Taisvi, 
who first kind of criticized the concept of the dual light of creation and anti-creation, which is a central part of the actual foundation upon which the structures of our own system are based. While we pay homage to the legacy of both Shabbatai Z and his prophet because of what their wisdom has inspired us to find, it is again important for the sake of clarity to underline that our path is not that of the so-called Shabbatain her heresy, as those brethren of light, unlike us, never followed the other light of thoughtlessness, whose illumination we ever strive for, whose path we follow at all costs, and whose impulses we have realized as our own. I hope you paid very, very special close attention to what I just read. Because this is the nexus and essence of this entire video. Now this Luciferian, who probably belongs to level 2 of the Luciferian order, whose masters belong to level 1, these Luciferians have such high IQs and such high SQs, as myself, that they know the truth. You see, what really bothers me, what really truly bothers me is that the Luciferians are more initiated into the holy mysteries than practically all of the Christians and Jews and Muslims of the Abrahamic religions. And the irony is just staggering. They have much more knowledge and wisdom, whether it's of the holy mysteries or the Luciferian mysteries, than do practically 99% of Christians, Jews, and Muslims. It's, it's extraordinarily lamentable and sad. It almost makes me feel ashamed to belong to the Abrahamic religions. The Luciferians spiritually are light years ahead than Christianity and Judaism and even Islam. They're light years ahead in their knowledge and wisdom. Of course, I'm not a Luciferian. I'm not a son of Lucifer. I'm a son of Mashiach. Lucifer is my divine uncle, of course, but and I, and I respect and honor Lucifer as my divine uncle, but I'm not his servant. But we have to put things into perspective and context here. The Luciferians are not stupid. They are some of the most intelligent people I have ever discoursed with and have ever met in my entire life. In fact, it is really usually nine, nine out of 10 times, I can only have really pure, really super advanced philosophical and theological disquisitions only with the Luciferians. Most of the time, I can't even have the disquisitions I want to have with Christians or Jews because they're too stupid, they're too ignorant. And it is very painful for me to say this, but it's the truth. Now, these Luciferians are, have, an extra, have extraordinarily high SQs and ISQs just like me. They know the truth. They know that Shabbat Taizvi was a holy prophet of Hashem. That he was, that he was Hamashiach. That he was Hamashiach Israel. They know that Nathan of Gaza was a chief prophet of Hamashiach. They know that in the past 300 years, they were the most initiated Jews and, 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 uh, and the most initiated Zadikim of Israel to ever walk the earth. They know that they're not stupid. They go straight to the source. The writings that Nathan of Gaza and Shabbat Taizvi produced were some of the most powerful, most esoteric polius of writings. They know this. I know this. The stupid Christians, the stupid Jews, they don't know this. They're clueless. Sometimes I even want to go as far as say they're just retarded. You just have to be retarded. You're spiritually, you're a spiritual retard. That's how I feel. My intellect, my, my SQ is so damn high that it almost feels like I almost want to say these, these are beasts. I have to liken the Christians and Jews to beasts, to spiritual retards. Because to me and to the Luciferians, it's obvious. We know what's going on. They know this. They even, they are expressly telling you this even in this most powerful Luciferian treatise. Well, Shabbat is Hamashiach, Nathan of Gaza, is the holiest, most powerful prophet of the past 300 years. They produce some of the most powerful, most modern of esoteric holiest writings, and we have studied them. Well, they definitely studied them. I've read this book, I've studied this book very closely. There's no question they studied and mastered their writings. Listen to me very carefully. We only have like one or two treatises openly circulating. Sh Shabbatain treatises of the highest order Okay, circulate. And what's contained in these books, all that knowledge and wisdom they possess, they have it. Because again, those that belong to level one of Luciferian order are predominantly Jews who are fluent in ancient Hebrew and Aramaic, like myself. 
They're no different than me. The only difference is they've decided to serve Lucifer. Now, here they're telling you, they're expressly telling you, we know, we understand that these are the most powerful holiest of men of the past 300 years or so. And we pay homage to them, we give them credit. If it wasn't for them, we would not have such advanced knowledge and wisdom that we now possess as Luciferians. Because you better believe the Hamashiach was fully initiated, and I mean fully, the emphasis is on the word fully initiated into the Luciferian mysteries, as was his chief prophet Nathan of Gaza. Because it is only the Sabbatine esoteric texts that go the deepest into, into the Luciferian mysteries. They know this, they're not stupid. Now, here in this text, he is talking of, he is talking about two concepts, namely the divine light of thought and the divine light of thoughtlessness. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go into full detail in discussing what these two terms are and what they mean because um, they are well beyond the canon scope of this video. They would require an extremely massive, super esoteric, extremely advanced dive into full-blown Shabbatainism, which I have really yet to do in any of my videos and have no plans to do so because it's just too esoteric and too advanced. But these advanced Luciferians are very well acquainted with this very esoteric knowledge and wisdom. And they are expressly telling you in this book, we know that Shabbatai Zvi, Nathan of Gaza, are, are the most powerful, holiest of men in the past 200 years. We know this and we do not follow them. We give them credit and homage because we're essentially copying and taking their very esoteric holy knowledge and wisdom. We'll be good enough to give them credit where it's due, but we do not follow them because we are evil, we are Luciferians. This is the proof. This is one of many proofs. If you are wise, you have eyes to see and ears to hear. This is one of many proofs of what I have already taught in many of my videos. That indeed, Shabbat is Hamashiach Israel, that Nathan of Gaza was one of the most holiest of prophets of the, of, of the past 200 years, a holy chief prophet of Hamashiach, no different than Yohanan the Baptist. I wouldn't be surprised if Nathan of Gaza was a reincarnation of, of, of Eliyahu. In fact, I personally believe that he's a reincarnation of Eliyahu. There's just no other way around it. But enough, let's continue. I'll only read this last paragraph in the book where he states, and this is the subsequent paragraph on page 12. He states, while the prophet Nathan of Gaza never sided with the dragons of the other side, and instead strived for union between the two sides of divinity by the assimilation of the kipot into the thoughtful light, our own approach is dedicated to an opposite cause with the goal of returning all back to Ain via the route of the thoughtless black light of the Sitra Akhra, as even though being bound within this world, our Azathic essence is not of it nor its creator and cannot and must not be limited by it as is instead a black flame rooted to that other tree, being the tree of death to limitation, granting the forbidden fruits of deathlessness. Now this is an extremely advanced paragraph. What he says here is more than a mouthful. Um, I cannot even properly give a full adequate disquisition or reply to this paragraph because it's just too advanced and too esoteric and I would just probably lose everyone here. You don't think that this book, you know, I, I've seen a, a few YouTube videos and, and threads and websites of stupid retarded Goyim trying to comment on this book and I being the chief magician of Mystery Babylon am spiritually initiated enough to be able to discern and see that many of these stupid retarded Goyim, they don't understand what's in this book, they don't. I can tell you for a fact that 99% of Luciferians and Satanists reading the first two chapters of this book, it's all going to go over their head. It's all going to go over their head. There's, there's no way they're going to understand this. They don't, you, there's no way. I know many of you listening, probably 99% of you listening, there's no way you're going to understand what he's saying in this paragraph because you're not all Shabbatines. You haven't read our most Shabbatines of the Torah text. You don't know all this stuff that, that me and the Luciferians do. So there's, I'm, I'm pretty sure I probably lost all of you listening at this point. The whole point of this video was to prove to you that the Luciferians are very intelligent. They know. They know that Shabbatainism is the highest form of the Kabbalah, and they know that Shabbatism is Hamashiach, as well as Yaakov Frank, and that Nathan of Gaza is the true holy prophet. They know this. They're not stupid. They're not retarded, like many of you Christians and Jews and Muslims are. 
Okay. I'll just briefly conclude here by saying that the first two chapters of this book contain very esoteric wisdom of the highest order. Cannot be emphasized enough. Okay. If you wanna, if you want a really nice, good, super advanced esoteric introduction to Shabbatianism, feel free to read the first two chapters of this book. Okay. Um, because much of the esoteric knowledge and wisdom contained within the first two chapters of the books can only be found in about one or two, uh, op you know, open circulating treatises on Shabbatianism, of which there is no English translation. Okay. Um, there are, however, some errors in his disquisition on Sheol and Abaddon. He does go into a very lengthy disquisition um, on Sheol and Abaddon, of which there are errors because he is a Luciferian. There's no way they're going to properly understand these mysteries, and it's very lamentable to say the least. Um, the rest, of course, is very powerful black magic, which you'll probably want to stay away from and not touch. Um, again, the whole point of this video was to was to give you another proof from the Luciferian side that indeed Shabbatianism is the highest form the highest, purest, most advanced form of the Holy, of the Holy Kabbalah. Um, and just another shilling proof that indeed um, the leading Shabbatian figures like, you know, Shabbatai Zee and Yaakov Frank HaMashiach and Nathan of Gaza, etc. were all true holy Zadikim of the highest order. So, I uh, hope you learned a lot. Uh, with that established, Shalom. Wassalam.